Okay, I'm going to try to find a little place out of the wind here. So, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here with the uh, Spark. We got the new ball-mounted controller that I did with the uh, sunscreen. And so far, seems to be looking pretty smart here. So, we got the Polar Pro polarizing filter on. I want to do some tests. I just got uh, an email from Polar Pro today saying they're pulling the filters from the market because there's issues. And I've had a couple people write to me. So, I'm going to see what happens when I fly with it. I've got the polarizer on here. It's a little bit windy, but I, I, it's my one opportunity to get out here, do some flying. So I want to still give it a shot. I'm not going to go up very high or do anything too crazy, but I do want to put it through a little bit of its paces and see what I get. And so I can put it out there so you guys know. Now, Polar Pro has been gracious enough to fully refund me the price of this and everybody that purchased these as well as offer a 60% discount on the new version when it comes out. So I'm very excited about that and again sorry for the wind noise. I'm trying to adjust myself here so I can hopefully minimize it a little bit. But um, So let's go ahead. I've got uh, everything I need to really start taking it up. So let's go ahead and lift off. So um, I am going to start um, so now I've got recording going now this is through the polarizing filter if you will I just wanted to do a quick walk around I want to see what the gimbal looks like up front I'll see if I can't zoom in a little bit on the uh, so you can see the filter on there and so I want to gimbal the uh, so the filter, I don't know if you can see the camera gimbal. Hopefully I'm getting this in in shot. So the cam, camera is gimbling. And so that all seems to work okay. Um, so I'm recording. So I'm going to go ahead and take it up and out a little bit. And uh, I, I like the color so far. Notice the contrast in the sky, if you will. So nice contrast in the sky. Let's see, let's yacht around. Let's take it out into the field a little bit and then uh, take it up a little bit. And again, so far so good. I want to take it up a little bit more. And I want to yacht whoops back around this way. See that that cloud line? Look at the you know just the. Um, the colors i i want to just pan it around here a little bit again I, i'm not going to take it too crazy it's a little bit windy i got about six mile an hour gust it's probably at the top of where i feel comfortable flying this guy but i just want to pan around really nice effects on the uh the polarizing filter so just uh pushing it around like that now one one of the things i want to bring it down a little bit and one of the things that I heard was uh, sport mode was typically a problem with it. So I need to put my glasses back on here a little bit. I'm going to switch it into sport mode. I'm now in sport mode. So I'm now flying it in sport mode. Gosh, I love this guy in sport mode. So I just want to bring it back up. <laughs> I think I might might see a little bit what happened. All right, so I've now got I've got the gimbal all the way up to the top, and so I'm going to race this out, and I'm going to race this back around this way, and I'm going to race this this way, and then I'm going to bring it up and let it stop. Ah, so yes, there. So when I race in sport mode, what, what it seems to happen is it, I think as you saw, because I gimbaled it back up, so uh, it was gimbaled down. So let's, let's do that again. So I've got the gimbal in the full up position, so it's straight out from the copter. So as I fly this guy around in sport mode, what happens is for some reason it pulls the gimbal down. Now, I'm not sure how big of a problem that is. Well rhetorically because one of the things the manual says you should be in sport mode and I think it's more of a safety issue. They don't want you looking at the screen versus the copter is why they say that. But alright, now I'm going to bring it up. I'm going 
I bring it into a little bit of a hunger. Now, now I'm going to hit the. I'm going to. I'm gonna hit the diamond. So uh, I'm gonna try to find a little bit of a wind break here, maybe. So uh, hopefully minimize the wind noise a little bit. So now I gimbal up and see how much, how far it pulls the gimbal down. So that that's that's rather interesting. I want to put it back in normal, bring it back around. And so I'm recording again. So anyways, this is now complaining about the wind, uh, getting too much wind velocity. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, I've, taken, I've taken down a sport mode. I'm just going to bring it back here. And uh, you can see some uh, weather coming in over there. And the wind's really starting to pick up. So I'm going to bring this back home. You can really tell the, the speed difference. I want to bring it down because the wind's really starting to gust up. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit. I'll have to mosey it over. If I take it the right way, let's bring it down. All right, so we brought it down. I want to save out the video again. So I'll have the video up there. I'll, I'll see if I can't put some comparison video up there also. Uh, be landing by it. Must like the yellow. So I'll see if I can't put some comparison video or stills out there so you can kind of compare against that. But uh, sorry for the short flight. Again, some weather is starting to blow in, as you can see from the uh, east there. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. And I'll keep you posted on these filters. I really like the idea of these filters. Um, I guess we just got to wait for the new ones to come in or the new ones to be released that fix the problem. So hey, Give it a thumbs up if you found this interesting. Also, subscribe button coming over there. Let me know what you're going to have for lunch. And hey, we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.